Hello, welcome back to 60 Seconds Zoology. My name's Amy, I'm a zoologist, and for episode seven, we're honing in on the uropygial gland. Birds are characterized by their feathers, a part of their anatomy that they need to look after in order for them to work. Their feathers provide warmth, waterproofing, and the ability to fly, so they're very, very important. This is where the uropygial gland comes in. This small, nubbin-like structure sits at the base of the bird's back and is responsible for supplying all of the oil needed to waterproof each and every feather. Not only this, but the oils also have antibacterial and antifungal properties. In some studies, the size of the uropygial gland has even been linked to mating success, with females preferring to breed with males with a larger gland, as this confers a greater immune fitness compared to those with a smaller gland. So then, in order to preen, a bird must first turn around and collect the oil from its uropygial gland at the bottom of its back. It then spreads the oil using its beak across each feather, resulting in a hydrated and waterproof plumage. Most, but not all, birds have a uropygial gland. Doves and pigeons actually have specialised down feathers called powder down, which disintegrate to form a dusty powder which coats each feather and acts as a waterproof and insulating agent. <laughs>